Lesson 1.3 is about segments, rays, and distance. Okay, first of all, a segment. A segment is just a piece of a line uh, that's defined by two endpoints. So it's just a section of line between the two endpoints, and we name the segment by naming the two endpoints. So the symbol is just the two endpoints, AB, with a bar over the top of it, just a single bar, and that says segment AB. A ray is like a half line extending from a single point. So on top here, I would have uh, extending from point A and going through point B is ray AB. And we always write it with the end point as the first letter. So I would write ray AB. And when I write it like that, it shows that A is the end point and the ray goes passes through point B. Versus in the bottom line, ray here, um, this starts at B and goes through point A. So I would write this as ray BA. Now, uh, when two rays share the same endpoint, we call them, and they're on the same line, um, we call them opposite rays. So in this case, we have S on the line between R and T, and so we could say that ray uh, SR and ray ST are opposite rays. Notice they both have, um, they both start at S and they go in opposite directions. In geometry, when we talk about distance, um, we talk about the length or, uh, measured in some units between any two points. So uh, when I talk about distance, the symbols, I don't put any kind of a bar um, or um, notation over the letters. Um, when I just write the letters like capital AB equals, it means I'm, I'm looking for what's the physical distance, the, the length between, between A and B. In this case, in this drawing, AB is, say it's in, we're in centimeters, AB would be three centimeters long, and BC would be two centimeters long, and um, you can probably already guess that AC, because B is on the line between A and C, is three plus two, or, you know, five centimeters or five units long. Next we have the ruler postulate, and a postulate is a rule that doesn't need to be proved because it seems to be intuitively obvious. Um, and the ruler postulate says that to find the distance between any two points, look if they're on some kind of a coordinate system like a number line or later in the coordinate plane, we find the absolute value of the distance between the two points. So as an example, let's put point A uh, with coordinate 3 on this number line, and let's put point B um, with coordinate 8. I could then say the distance AB is equal to, and this is going to be the absolute value, because it doesn't matter which direction I subtract them in, of the difference between those two coordinates. So 8 minus 3, um, or I could say 3 minus 8. It doesn't matter because absolute value distance is always positive. So this is, of course, um, 5. So that's uh, basically the ruler postulate when we have points uh, assigned to coordinates. Okay, and that leads us to the segment addition postulate. So it follows from the ruler postulate that if I take um, two points, so let's say point A and point C, and this is very important, point B must be on the line between A and C for this to be true. So I'll put point B on the line between A and C. Then it follows that if I add up the length of AB plus the length of BC, that will give me the total length of AC. So for example, if AB was 3 long and BC was 7 long, then AC would be 3 plus 7 or 10 units long, segment addition postulate. Now, the critical thing in the segment addition postulate to pay attention to is that B must be between A and C. That means on this line here, oops, on this line segment, 
It has to be on here between A and C. If it's not, like I've got it up here floating off that line, then um, the segment addition postulate does not apply because uh, A, B, and B, C, and A, C would form a triangle. So the word between is a very important part of that postulate. Okay, in geometry, when we talk about equality, we use the word congruent or congruency. Uh, congruent means same size and shape, same shape. So for any two figures, if they have the exact same shape and the exact same size, they are congruent. The symbol that we use for congruent is, because it, we're talking about equal sizes, is an equal sign with this squiggle floating above it. That's the congruency symbol. And so in the case of line segments, like line segment MN on the left here and line segment RQ on the right, um, let's just say that they're both uh, four inches long, then I would say that MN, segment R MN, is congruent to segment RQ. If I'm just talking about their distances, their, their lengths, I could just say, without the segment symbol, the length of MN equals the length of RQ. So when I'm talking about the distances between M and uh, the distance or the length of MN and the length of RQ, I generally use the equal sign. But if I'm talking about using the symbols, the physical segments MN and RQ, then we use the congruent sign. Okay, but next let's talk about the definition of a midpoint. A midpoint uh, is part of a, a line segment. And so in this case, we have segment AB. And if I go right through uh, dead center through the, between A and B, I'm at the midpoint of AB. And um, the mid midpoint definition just says that um, segment AM then is going to be congruent to segment MB. OK, and I think that's pretty obvious. If, if, these, if the whole segment was 10 long, then AM would be 5 and um, MB would be 5 long. Midpoint is the, as it says, middle point between two endpoints on a segment. Okay, then lastly we have a segment bisector. And a segment bisector can be, it can be a line, uh, it can be a ray, as it is in this drawing, it's the red ray, or it can be a segment. and what it does is it passes through the midpoint of another segment. So in this case, this red ray is um, a segment bisector of segment AB because it's passing uh, through AB, uh, through the midpoint of AB. And that's it.